Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're going to be looking at multiplying decimal numbers. Our objective says I can represent multiplication of decimal numbers with an array. An array is just an organized way of displaying objects or things or numbers. Show four tenths times two tenths using an array. So I'm going to think about this as being four groups of two for now. And I'm going to show four groups of two. So there's one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, and four groups of two. But that doesn't say four groups of two. That says four tenths groups of two tenths. So I need to show that that's really two tenths and not just two. So I'm going to show a grid to represent that that is two out of ten or two tenths. And those four tenths groups are also uh, four out of ten. They're also tenths as well. So I'm going to flesh out that grid as well. So now if I go ahead and continue filling out the rest of that grid and making a full size array, I have 100 squares inside of that grid that I just created. And you can see my product only takes up eight of those squares. So when I find four tenths groups of two tenths, then I have a product of eight hundredths. So four tenths times two tenths equals eight hundredths. I'm gonna make an observation. I notice that when I multiply two numbers less than one together, I get a product that is even smaller than either factor. So I have four tenths and two tenths. Both of those numbers are less than one. And when I multiply them together, I get a product that's even smaller than either of those factors. Eight hundredths is twelve hundredths smaller than two tenths. So it's less than half the size of two tenths, which makes sense because this right here is about half. And I said, I want to know what half of two tenths is. So half of two tenths would be one tenth, but it's not quite half, it's a little less. So we're getting a product that's a little less than one tenth. We get eight hundredths as our product. Our objective says I can represent multiplication of decimal numbers with an array. Thanks for watching.